Nicole Ritchie, Wikipedia article audio. Nicole Camille Ritchie Madden is an American fashion designer, author, actress, and television personality. Ritchie rose to prominence for her role in the Fox reality television series, The Simple Life, alongside her childhood best friend and fellow socialite Paris Hilton, which lasted five seasons. The Simple Life was a hit for the Fox network, premiering with 13 million viewers. Richie's personal life attracted significant media attention during the Simple Life's five-year run, and she was a constant fixture of tabloid journalism before and after her appearance. Early Life Career Television Writing Fashion Music Personal Life Health Legal Issues Philanthropy Filmography Award Nominations Published Works Ritchie appeared as one of the three mentors on NBC's Fashion Star. In July 2014, Ritchie's reality show Candidly Nicole premiered on VH1 and ran for two seasons. Since 2017, Richie has been appearing in her first regular series as Portia in the NBC sitcom, Great News. Richie was born in Berkeley, California, and has English, Mexican and Creole African American ancestry. Her biological father, Peter Michael Escovedo, is the brother of Sheila E., and her biological mother is Karen Moss. When she was three years old, her biological parents agreed to let her move in with Lionel Richie because they could not afford to provide for her. My parents were friends with Lionel, she told People in 2003. They trusted that they would be better able to provide for me. Initially, Lionel Richie became her guardian. Richie and his wife Brenda Harvey legally adopted Nicole when she was nine. Shortly after, Lionel's affair with another woman became public knowledge. Lionel and Brenda went through a bitter public split, as a result, they were indulgent to the young Nicole. Their way of making me happy was to say, yes, to everything I wanted, but I don't think a little girl should have that much freedom said Richie in an interview with Vanity Fair. Following the divorce, Lionel remarried and had two more children, Miles and Sophia. Richie's godmother is Nancy Davis, daughter of Marvin Davis and mother of Brandon Davis. Michael Jackson was Richie's godfather. Quincy Jones said in a People magazine interview that he has known Nicole Richie since she was a baby. She's a very smart girl. Richie graduated from Montclair College Preparatory School in 1999, then attended the University of Arizona in Tucson, Arizona, alongside Kourtney Kardashian and Luke Walton, where she studied arts and media. She did not have a definitive study plan in Arizona, dropped out after two years, and returned to California. In 2003, Richie and her then best friend Paris Hilton starred in the reality series The Simple Life, in which they lived for a month with a family in the rural community of Altus, Arkansas. The series premiere debuted on Fox on December 2, 2003, to 13 million viewers, increasing Fox's reach among viewers 1849. The series continued for a second and third season. Fox subsequently cancelled the show after a dispute between Hilton and Ritchie, but it was aired by E! Entertainment Television for its fourth season, drawing nearly one million viewers and was followed by a relatively unsuccessful fifth season. Complications arose during production of the fifth season, 
with both Ritchie and Hilton facing major charges for DUI, and at risk of serving jail time. Hilton was sentenced to 23 days in jail, though this was after production of the season had finished. Ritchie accepted a plea agreement and was sentenced to four days in jail, again after production had wrapped. Despite talks of a sixth season, the series finished its run at the end of the moderately unsuccessful fifth season. In 2005, Ritchie made her acting debut in the comedic drama Kids in America. Ritchie has guest starred in television series including Eve, Six Feet Under and American Dreams, Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter, and playing the recurring character Heather Chandler on Chuck. In July 2008, plans were announced to turn Ritchie's 2005 novel, The Truth About Diamonds, into a television series. On January 1, 2010, it was announced that Ritchie would appear as a guest judge on Project Runway. In early 2016, Ritchie auditioned for a role in the NBC sitcom, Great News, created by Tracy Wigfield and produced by Wigfield and Tina Fey, which is set in the world of television news. Although Ritchie's audition was not successful, she was later brought in to replace Camry Lewis Davis in the supporting role of Portia, an anchor woman at the news channel depicted in the series. The show's producers had initially cast Lewis Davis as Portia, but decided to go in a different direction with the character after seeing the results of the pilot episode. When speaking about casting Ritchie in her first scripted series regular television role, Faye explained, She's a really funny person and has an instant likability. Those are instincts you can't teach. People have it or not. She has good timing without really pushing it. In 2005, Ritchie wrote a semi autobiographical novel, The Truth About Diamonds which was released by Beryl Jackson Publishing. The novel is loosely based on her life, but is mostly fictional. It chronicles the life of Chloe Parker, a singer's adopted daughter who makes her way through all the popular nightclubs and parties in Hollywood while battling a drug addiction. In early January 2006, the Truth About Diamonds peaked at number number 32 in hardcover fiction on the New York Times bestseller list. Ritchie's second novel, Priceless, was released on September 28, 2010. It tells the story of a girl who loses everything and then learns about what really matters in life. Richie has been the face of Bongo Jeans and Jimmy Choo advertising campaigns. In April 2007, Richie announced plans to start a jewelry, accessories, and sunglasses line along with a perfume and style book. In October 2008, she debuted a jewelry line, House of Harlow 1960. The line became available at Kitson's online boutique. In spring 2010, the line was extended to include apparel and shoes. In 2009, Ritchie joined maternity store AP in the pod to create the new collection maternity clothes. The line was titled Nicole which had pieces that she would wear as an expectant mother. In February 2010, Ritchie expanded her fashion business with a women's line called Winter Kate her daughter's two middle names. The collection was inspired by timeless prints and shapes, beautiful paisley and florals. In 2010, she won Entrepreneur of the Year for her House of Harlow 1960 brand at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. House of Harlow 1960 was also nominated in the category Celebrity Fashion Line at the 2010 Teen Choice Awards. In July 2011, 
it was reported that Ritchie's House of Harlow 1960 line has unveiled a 14-piece handbag collection. The House of Harlow 1960 handbag collection will be available at Bergdorf Goodman, Neiman Marcus, Nordstrom, and Shopbop.com. In July 2011, it was announced that Ritchie would be one of the three mentors in NBC's new reality show Fashion Star alongside Jessica Simpson. Ritchie guided aspiring designers who hoped to become the next big brand in fashion. She launched a collection for Macy's Impulse line in September 2012, which was sold in 100 Macy's stores as well as online. Her first fragrance, Nicole, was also launched in September 2012. Richie made her musical debut in February 2005 with a live appearance on ABC's The View playing the piano. Although widely speculated that Richie is working on an album, she denied such rumors to people. She was quoted as saying, I do eventually, but right now I have a lot on my plate. In February 2010, Richie was featured on the charity single We Are the World 25 for Haiti. I was four years old in a studio, watching my dad record We Are the World and today I get to do it again. Excited to help make a change, she later said of the experience. In 2004, she auditioned for the part of Maureen in the popular Broadway hit Rent but did not get the part. In 2008, she was offered the lead role in the musical Chicago as Roxy Hart. In September 2013, Richie made a cameo appearance in Christina Aguilera's music video for the song Let There Be Love. In April 2005, Reports surfaced that Richie and longtime friend Paris Hilton were no longer speaking. Hilton commented, It's no big secret that Nicole and I are no longer friends. Nicole knows what she did, and that's all I'm ever going to say about it. Neither Richie nor Hilton spoke publicly about the cause of the split. They eventually reconciled in October 2006. She dated DJ Adam Goldstein from 2003 to 2005 but broke up after a nine-month engagement. Richie began dating Good Charlotte lead singer Joel Madden in December 2006. They have two children, daughter Harlow Winter Kate Richie Madden and son Sparrow James Midnight Madden. In February 2008 the first photos of Harlow were sold to People magazine for $1 million. The couple confirmed their engagement in February 2010, and married on December 11, 2010. Because of Madden's commitments to The Voice Australia, Richie relocated to Sydney, Australia with her husband and children in 2012. In early 2006, Richie was notably thinner compared to her previous appearance in the first two seasons of The Simple Life. In May she told Vanity Fair, I know I'm too thin right now, so I wouldn't want any young girl looking at me and saying, that's what I want to look like. She also said, I started seeing a nutritionist and a doctor. I was scared that it could be something more serious. During this time it was reported that she had also sought the help of a psychiatrist and a personal trainer. Later that year, in September, Richie stated I am not anorexic. I am not bulimic. I do not have an eating disorder. On October 27, 2006, it was announced that Richie was seeking treatment for an inability to put on weight, though it is not treatment for an eating disorder. In March 2007, Richie was taken to the hospital for dehydration. On March 21, her representatives announced she was diagnosed with hypoglycemia.
In October 2002, Ritchie was arrested following a brawl in a New York City nightclub. The charges were dropped. On February 27, 2003, when Ritchie was arrested in Malibu, California for driving with a revoked license and possession of heroin, she checked herself into a rehabilitation center. In August 2003, she was sentenced to three years probation. On December 11, 2006, Ritchie was arrested by the California Highway Patrol after she failed a field sobriety test. She was charged with driving under the influence on State Route 134 in the Burbank-Glendale, California area. Several motorists had reported a black Mercedes G-Class entering the freeway on the exit ramp and traveling in the opposite traffic direction. She admitted to using marijuana and the narcotic Vicodin before the incident. On July 27, 2007, Ritchie was sentenced to four days in jail at the Century Regional Detention Center in Linwood, California. However, she only served about 82 minutes of the sentence and was released at 1637 PDT on August 23, 2007. A spokeswoman for the Sheriff's Department told People magazine that Ritchie was released early due to overcrowding in the jail system. This is standard procedure for nonviolent offenders. After spending 82 minutes in jail, Ritchie was of course pleasantly surprised to be released so quickly, said her attorney. Ritchie enrolled in an 18-month anti-drinking driver education program according to papers filed with the Superior Court of California. On June 22, her probation was extended one year to March 2011 because she missed her anti-drinking driving class. However, Ritchie's probation was terminated early on December 29, 2010 after her lawyer presented details to the judge that Ritchie had completed all terms of her probation. In November 2007, Ritchie and Joel Madden created the Ritchie Madden Children's Foundation. Ritchie, Joel, and Benji Madden along with UNICEF held a fundraiser for the TAP project in March 2009. They sold 143 water pumps to bring water directly to the villages and raised $100,000. Esprit donated 10% of all the sales on April 2, 2009, at their newly opened 3rd Street Promenade store to the Ritchie Madden Children's Foundation. The Ritchie Madden Foundation specially designed cup with a cause for 7-Eleven. It was a part of their charity-focused coffee campaign in February 2010. During 2010 the foundation worked together with Beyond Shelter, a non-profit organization devoted to providing shelter for homeless families in Los Angeles. In May 2008, Ritchie and Madden shot a UNICEF public service announcement to generate aid for the cyclone-devastated Myanmar. Ritchie and Madden have also written blogs on the UNICEF website and encouraged people to help children in need. Ritchie has been a board member of the Environmental Media Association for several years and took part in their awareness program in May 2009. Each member adopted a school to raise awareness for the program and help students with environmental education. She participated in a charity hand-me-downs auction that started on the website handmedowns.com. The proceeds went directly to the Ritchie Madden Children's Foundation to help bring more opportunities to children in the U.S. and abroad.